which is just a company who makes uh, some iOS games. And you might notice the music is very lighthearted. Uh, it's pretty good, I think. Uh, there's a lot of like classical music like Beethoven and Mozart in this game, which is great uh, juxtaposed against this, uh, this theme. It's like dogfighting in planes. So let's play. Uh, this is the main menu. Your first choice, of course, is play. And your next choice is My Squadron. You can check out the planes that you own. And of course, some options and links to other games by the same company. So let's just go into play. And we have these different choices. Classic, uh, which is like level-based. Uh, so you have kind of a mission. Oh, there's a retweet. Even more. Uh, and survival is going to be like waves of planes coming at you. And then multiplayer, this game supports a uh, local multiplayer on Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, I'm the only one in my household to own this game, so I can't really do that. If we check it out really quick, you can make a game or join a game. If I try to join a game, it's just finding challengers forever. So let's try some classic. Uh, this game is currently running on iOS 7 on the iPhone 5S, uh, but you can see it doesn't support the iPhone 5 or 5S uh, widescreen display. The latest update to this game happened this year, so for whatever reason they decided not to update the, the visuals on this. Alright, so we have this map, and the check marks are levels that I've completed. So this is Duck Island. It gives you your high scores and times. Uh, the ones that are flashing are recently unlocked. And then these ones that have the locks on them are obviously locked. This little pinwheel up the top has another map. You can see it's quite different. Not that it matters because in the game it's all like 2D. And so if I touch any of these, there's a button to say I want it, uh, and that's just going to take you to the App Store to get the other game by this company, Mini Squadron Special Edition, uh, which we'll get to in a bit. So this is Faceland. Um, you can see the little Moai statues here. Start. And you can choose your plane. There's a bunch of planes you can unlock. Some of them, if we look on this one, looks like a spaceship. And it actually tells you how you unlock it. So if you want to actually go for one of these planes, you can, you can do a specific level to get it. These ones that are jumping around the screen are recently unlocked. So you can see that it has all these stats. I haven't really checked out too much of this, I guess. So let's just go with the red herring. Alright, so I have this little virtual stick here on the left, and that is going to steer my plane. I can climb and uh, stall. So what I want to do is face the nose of my plane down towards the ground uh, to get going again. Ah. And then I press the button on the right to shoot. You see this, this plane has kind of slower shots. I want to collect these stars, that'll give me rapid fire. I can just hold down the button and it'll shoot as long as the power-up is enabled. And I can shoot the birds as well. So there's these planes coming in. You can see the arrows along the edge of the screen showing me which direction these other planes are at. And you can stall and that can actually be used ah, to crash. Uh, it can be used to go against other planes. Sometimes they're chasing you and you can climb. If you have a really good plane you can climb farther and then they will stall out and then you can just chase after them. And so it's you know, really simple controls. You just Put your thumb uh, in the direction you want to go on this little joypad here, and then press the button to fire. So I got that air rage because I've 
shot down a bunch of guys without being shot down myself. Ah, that guy has a special attack. He shoots things up in the air. Probably want to get rid of him first. Let's see if I can get this guy if, if it'll give me any kind of bonus. Alright, so I have a 5x multiplier right now because I've shot so many guys. I'm not sure if it uh, keeps the multiplayer multiplier if you don't get shot or if you just don't die, which answered that question. So if you don't take any hits, it keeps the multiplier going. Oh, and I collected a one-up. There's that heart flying by. And so whenever you see a star on the screen, you want to get that because that's going to It's gonna give you a special power up temporarily. Okay, so when you stall, you wanna again point the nose of your plane down towards the ground to get going again. Oh, all right. So that guy shot me down, but I have a few lives left. And I think I'll get some kind of bonus if I shoot down the guy who shot me down. Your revenge. And you can see some of my missiles are curving towards the guy, so they're heat seeking. And you can see this heart is kind of tough to get. The hearts and stars, they just float around in weird patterns on the screen. And right now my mission is to shoot down nine, to nine birds. Of course they don't attack me, they just fly straight. So they're innocent, but gotta kill them. Ooh, don't want to get too close to the ground. It is kind of tough to gauge where the ground is located. But if you're really good, I'm sure you could use that to your advantage. All right, now the planes are back. These guys out. Boosted my multiplier quite a bit. But I've already lost it. So when he was losing control, I could actually take him out a lot easier. And different planes have different attacks. We saw one earlier that it just shot up like a bunch of, I don't know, fire blasts or something in the air and then they just floated there. So you got to maneuver around them. That's me, ace pilot pooped. And this is one of the first levels, so it's quite a bit easier than later levels. When you get to harder levels, the, the enemy planes are a lot more aggressive. They'll fly around, doing loops and stuff, chasing you. Or they have, you know, better guns. So here, we have 11 of 12, so this level is 12 waves. And already, it's a little bit more difficult. It seems like I'm out of bullets. Shit, oh, stalling. And so I collected that power up right as I came out. That's pretty good. So it already seems like this wave is much crazier. Uh, there's a lot more planes going on, flying around on the screen, so there's a lot more bullets to be careful of. You can fly through planes, so you're not going to hit them just by running into them, so no kamikaze flights. These, these guys just keep coming.
think the key is to just keep firing as much as you can. Hopefully one of your one of your shots is gonna hit somebody that maybe they're off screen or something. This guy he's smoking, he's on fire, so I should shoot him down, get an easy kill. With that guy. So you can see sometimes you shoot them out of the air and they just totally blow up. Oh, now there's UFOs in this. So that guy shot me down. And you can see the UFOs act a little different. They just, they can stay in one spot in the air whereas your airplane has to always keep moving forward. And so they're like a turret, they just stop and shoot at you. So the idea is probably not to go straight at them. Fly around them. And if you shoot a guy enough, he'll just go down in flames. That's kind of cool. All right, there we go. Level complete. All right, so I got a high score, best time, everything. Great. Unlocked three planes, including the UFO, which is nice. Alright, let's try out one of these new levels. Knobbly Coast. Let's see how this guy is. See, his armor is weak, so he's gonna go down really easily. He can turn really fast, and he has a double cannon, so it might be kinda good. Again, armor weak. It seems like the same. Let's see, 320 cruising speed, dive speed is 640. Okay, so that, this guy is much faster, this pink one. How about this one? So this one is pretty slow. Tough armor is good. Barely turns, um, and then I guess you probably aim which way you want to shoot. Let's see, how does this orange one look? Hmm, so that's a single cannon. Alright, so this guy, armor is good. Turning is good. This is a pretty nice plane, I think. So let's go with this one, the Minotaur. Right, so I'm flying around. If you hit the edge, you just bounce back the other direction. Alright, so in this one, I can just hold my thumb on the on the fire button and it'll just continue to shoot. I think the single cannon might be stronger. But this one has a little bit wider range, so you don't have to be as accurate. And what's nice about this is that if you see the arrows showing you where the guys are off screen, you can just kind of fly in that general direction. Take them out even before they get on screen. So survival is basically just like an endurance, endurance match. Alright, I'm already on wave 3 of 12. You can see the little different environments. I really like the art style of this. All the different environments. Are and you can see the enemies can also pick up the, the power-ups. If you see them, you gotta pick them up. No, I'm stalling. Alright, so Ghost makes it so they can't see me, which is good. If they're firing, then it'll still hit me, I think. when they're going down in flames and then you just take them out anyway. Extra life off. Power up. Maybe that blinds them, I think. Let's 
So you can see this guy has really good turning, so I need to run for my money. Alright, and the ghost power up is really nice. Convenient in that situation. Extra life, and again the ghost power up coming in handy. So you could just focus on one guy, but when there's so many things flying around, I feel like you just need to just keep flying and shooting. Ah. Sometimes when you're stalling, it's a little hard to get out of it. Ooh. Pretty nice power up. I actually haven't played this game in a long time. Just like riding a bicycle. So here I have to take out these vultures, I guess 12 of them. And just like in the last level with the ducks, they don't attack me. So you can see that guy's turning is probably not very good. So it's easy to just keep looping around them and killing them. And if there's a guy with a really powerful gun, I think it's usually best to just go after them first. So you don't catch any stray bullets. Just a couple more waves. Watch out for the heat seeking missiles. So these green guys, they have the missiles just like my last round with my other plane. You want to take them out as soon as you can because their missiles are just gonna just gonna get you. Last guy of the round. New plane. Alright, so I want to get the UFO, I think. Be a pain in my ass. Whoa, stalling. This isn't looking good. Unless I can pick up an extra life somewhere. Looks like with that power up, three new planes, yeah, and then that will unlock these new levels, two new levels.